Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today I have a brand new reaction to a brand new track that just came out. The Feeling by Cranked At and Ace Aura. Uh, I am super interested for this track. Uh, I've been liking the more uncaged stuff I've been doing recently. Uh, I just, I just like to headbang some of this stuff more on, on camera and I think it's a lot more enjoyable. So, uh, we're gonna get this going, get it react to this. Um, I really liked Stay, Ace Aura's last song. Um, uh, I, I was, I mean, a fan of that. Uh, and Crank That, I'm like love hate with. I don't love everything all the time. It's, uh, it's a little back and forth. And so, um, the rest of Ace Aura stuff, I haven't really liked though. So for both songs, both artists, I've been like, meh. So maybe this will be a match made in heaven for me. Maybe this won't. But here we go. Here is The Feeling by Crank That and Ace Aura. Classic crank that vocals. Should I get into it right away? Okay. Yo. <laughs> wow, this really is a good, it feels like a great blending between the two sounds here. Oh, it's gonna go into right away. Are we getting three drops from the song? This is so fun. Yo, we get a three dropper for just three minute song. That's great. I love this so far. This is so fun. Like it just feels like bliss just listening to it. It's, oh man. Cranked at sound, Ace Aura, it blends together so well. I love the low pitched voice before the drop. Oh, I'm just jamming. So much fun to listen to and and just oh man oh I have not had that much fun listening to a track off the bat and I think in that song in a long time um, and I will be honest though partially it is in part to uh, doing this on camera I feel I don't feel like I need to like play it up for the camera I, I think all my reactions are, are quite genuine um, but I just I'm in more of a mood I feel like I, I'm in a place where I just come in I'm like okay I'm like really intentionally listening to it really want to feel it out um, and honestly if you guys haven't done react videos before uh, it's a big thing to go on camera and do it but honestly I, I'd say do it um, it's a ton of fun uh, and I mean there's the more the merrier the more better the, the more people the better um, so I'm just, I just, I'm loving this. 
Uh, it really does, I, I, I keep saying it over and over again, uh, Cranked Out and Asor, it sounds like a perfect blending of their two sounds. I really feel like, um, I, I wow. Um, I'm, I'm actually really happy they didn't go like crazy hard on it, if that makes sense. Uh, where they didn't um, have a really grindy, gritty, like like final drop or a section of a drop, that they played it more uh, like melodic. They they made it sound a little more uh, crank daddy than I would say uh, crank daddy. <laughs> That's <laughs> I can't get over it. I just said that crank dat ish than Ace Aura in terms of like the actual uh, like heaviness of it, if that makes sense. Um, but I thought it was a perfect blend. It really did sound like the two were meshed in one. Um, it just felt, you could, there's songs where people are like, uh, you, I can just tell someone had fun making the song. Like you can just tell there's like good vibes into it. I, I really feel that with this track, um, that there's just a ton of goodness that went into this track. Um, damn, I really thoroughly enjoyed this. I did not expect to enjoy this that much. Um, this, I, I would be shocked if this wasn't, uh, not universally praised, but like, um, just, yeah, loved. I would almost say, yeah, maybe universally praised across the Monster Cat community, uh, and beyond, obviously. It's, it's not just the Monster Cat community that listens to Monster Cat songs. Uh, but, um, I'm, I'm a fan. I like that it's more melodic. It has three separate, uh, drops. They weren't copy-pasted. Uh, they sounded similar, but they weren't entirely the same all the way through. Um... I, uh, yeah, and something about those lower pitched vocals I just love, uh, right before the drop too, like it was just, it was just like cranked at just saying a little bit or using just a, a vocal type thing that he uses in a lot of his other tracks. Um, and then just, uh, just the really low, you don't even love me or so, whatever they said exactly. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I just, I get on, I just, I'm on fire for those kind of songs. Um, I, I, maybe it's just because I'm having a great day today, but I'm freaking on fire for this track. Uh, and, oh man. This was so fun. I really love this track. Um, I like if I had to give it a score. I know some people don't like scores right away, but um, for the sake, I would say this is like a nine at least right away, a nine out of ten, uh, maybe ten out of ten. Uh, who knows? I need to give it a little bit more time. But for context, out of the twenty five hundred Monster Cat songs there are, including remixes and everything, uh, I've given I think around one hundred and thirty songs uh, ten out of ten. So that's like four percent. So that's like that's a big deal I think for me to give a song a ten out of ten. And so. Um, it's at least a nine right now. Who knows if it gets a little bit higher, but I'm, I'm a fan of this. We'll see how long this lasts for me. Uh, but I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you love this? Did you hate this? Did you think this was weird? Did you think this was as amazing as I did off the bat? What were your first impressions? I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. Also, the first time I'm going to do this, plug uh, for my Twitter. Go uh, and follow me on Twitter, Bowtide Media. Uh, I plan to do videos that have a little bit more fan interaction uh, on that end. And so, um, yeah, do that there or uh, just stay tuned for the kind of YouTube polls or YouTube comments that I can do now because I hit a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. So I've been Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.